What's good? It's your boy Sheen. Swizzenberg. And we are jumping back into Breaking Bad. A lot of things going on. A lot of big people being crossed. Jesse was last seen with Mike heading somewhere. We don't know. But it's to the point where it's like he doesn't want to live anymore because he can't live with what he's done to Gail. We also had some uh, scenes where, where Hank was given what, basically all the information on the case with Gail and what happened. So now Walt has, he has some insight on what's going on and now he can kind of predict or decide what he's going to do depending on, you know, what Hank has going on with the case. Hank was saying that Gail was his guy, thinking that Gail is Heisenberg. So hopefully that gets Hank off of Walt's case for a little bit, but things are definitely spicing up. Make sure you guys hit the link in the description for our Patreon. We have uncut reactions over there, we have uh, exclusives, and we have a tons of content that hasn't come over to YouTube yet. So if you wanna jump a couple weeks ahead in content, get a couple exclusives, and see those uncut reactions, click that link, head over there to the Patreon to sub up. You can join the Patreon as a free member and jump into that community chat and chat it up. But without further ado, let's jump back into Breaking Bad. Let's get it. Say you understand. You understand? Tell me you understand, Saul. I want you to give her every last dollar. Do you hear me? I don't care if you have to stuff it in the trash bags. Just make sure she gets every. Talking about Skyler. Skyler. Oh! Is he bringing so much attention to herself right now? Oh, we'll call Skyler. Say hi. Hi, you've reached the White family. Please leave. If you thought she was about to chat, I definitely yeah, would. Yeah, I would too. I was thinking about you. And the kids. I love you. Yeah, we ain't hear him say that man. since season one, damn near. Where does he think he was? He only got his gun with him. Oh, yeah, he do. Boy, then. Jesse bugged out. It's both they fought, but. Just gotta that boy whipping like that? The fuck is he high? How would you think Gus is there if he took Jess? Oh, he's just checking, though. He don't know. Yeah, because he might just have Mike do whatever he's doing, and he can be here. So he got an alibi. But he did all that crazy-ass driving and pulled Hello. up here. Would you like to try our breakfast chicken chalupa combo right, meal? Cameras, dummy. Gus Fring. Mr. Fring isn't here right now. Is there something? He's else? here. His car is parked out front. He's here. He was here. Mr. Fring was you called just go out. in the back and you tell him it's Walter White. Oh, it's acting idiotic. But you mean if you know he in a bat? That's probably what Gus told her. If somebody come, tell him I'm not here. That's Heisen. <laughs> that devious look. <laughs> That's Swizzenberg right there. Boy, I think he's somebody he not, boy. I mean, he got bodies. He ain't selling that shit, boy. He but he's him. still... He is him. Not... He is him. Nah, somebody came in acting like that. I'm going to get the head honcho. Huh? Ain't got nothing to do with me. Or somebody running here and split your wig right now. I'm call them cops. Yeah. Because they probably don't even know what's going on. And it's like... Obviously, they don't know what's going on. And he in there acting the fool talking about Walter White. Nah, but you really don't know who's who, though. Like, they can be coming to get food or they be coming to get your ass. Like... Walter, what exactly are you doing? Where's Jesse? Jesse with me. He's fine. What, do you expect me to just believe that? I'm crossing my heart, Walter. Sup? Jesse, wh wh where are you? With Mike. Does he have a gun on you? No. What's going on, then? Uh, we're driving. I don't know. Um, north? I feel like Watt's paranoia. But everything is putting him in a bad position. Where is he going? It's me. Put Mike back on. Hello again. Tell me now exactly what is going on. Jesse's with me today. So what you need to do is to go back to your lab and get on with the cook. But it doesn't... Goodbye, Walter. Mike. But like, that's nobody... his ego, though. He just need control of everything. Yeah, like, nobody, ha nobody answers to you, bro. Like he used, he's used to Jesse answering to him, but like, bro, nobody else got an answer to you. Sir, excuse me. Hey, 
You're not allowed back there. Yo, he's Excuse bugging me, out. Like, he got a... He's non-serial. No, As I he's said, not Mr. Fring is not here. And he did all that in front of all those people. I understand. I'm not going to say that I wouldn't tweak out if I was in this situation. But, like, bro, I'm logically speaking. Like, come on. Who was you about to shoot him in his restaurant? Well, you told Mr. White. It's just bullshit, right? No, that boy don't care about nothing. I don't got to answer you either. Are you, uh, you figure on just leaving me in some ditch? What do you care? I don't. You know, you better shoot straight, old man. Talk to professional shooters. Wait, now you getting war worried after he didn't drove 50 minutes into the middle of nowhere? Oh, nah. Get out. He step out the car. I'm popping in the front seat. I'm driving off. I'd be panicked. Can't though. You gotta figure out what's going on. How to get up out of there? I ain't about to do nothing, my boy. Yeah, right. Get down Let me punch with them shits like that. That. Hey, boy, trying like, should I run? Do <laughs> anybody worry about you? Is it money or something there? I don't know. What the fuck? Gotta be something there and probably money. You're probably gonna give him that and tell that boy to leave. We gotta do this six more times today with a lot of miles in between. I'd like to finish before dark. Is he showing them like his job? Thinking like, yo, you might be the next one up, or do you hit that hit and run? Six more times? Where that is, what? Probably Mike got something up his sleeve. In case any scenario go wrong. It's like Scarface had sex with Mr. Rogers or something. <laughs> you boy Heisenberg thought we had him already. Yeah, keep dreaming. Yeah, no, Gats busted him a few months back. All he caught was uh, a dipshit lifer by the name of Jimmy in and out that's the whole badger situation so what are you thinking rival drug gang taking out the mastermind i wish i could help you there only two people i know connected with the blue stuff one is a beanie wearing jizz stain by the name of brandon mayhew street badger. name badger I'm definitely jesse. not a player <laughs> and the other one is uh jesse pinkman you see pinkman as a shooter that would surprise me it's a guy neighbor saw at bedeker's place right after the shooting that's Victor. Mm -hmm. Look, I, I appreciate what you're doing, really. Uh, you know, keep me involved and all. But, you know, finding this guy, Heisenberg, dead like this, kind of feels like closure to me, you know? Yeah, once you say that, that's nothing else for me to do here, bro. Yeah. Bro, they got this spot you would never check. Like, bro, get in the car. You don't need to do that. What is this he going to do? Here, right? To be like your backup? Uh-huh. So if I'm out here in a guard-type capacity to watch over the money, that means I need, like, a gun, right? You're the last person I'm giving that to. Bro, you walking like... Hey, young boy. Hey, like young boy. <laughs> I mean, isn't that, like, completely idiotic for me to be out here without a gun? When you haven't said dick about what I'm supposed to be doing here, now I'm supposed to do it without a gun? You're not supposed to do nothing. I can smoke, right? Not a chance. He's been coughing a lot, too. Is he sick? What is this money from? Like, like these seem like his little stashes. <laughs> what Jesse did. Damn. 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 Yeah, right. I'm on. I was just uh finally hitting me with the the plan is here. It's 
to bore me to death, so... Mission He's accomplished uh... because it's totally working. You got me riding shotgun to every dark anal recess of this state. Be nice if you clue me in a little. I mean, I'm here to do a job, right? Mike's starting to get irritated. Yeah. You are not the guy. You're not capable of being the guy. I had a guy, but now I don't. You are not the guy. Then what the hell am I doing here? I don't know. It's not my call. I just do what I'm told. And now you're going to do what you're told, which is to sit here, shut up, and stay in the car till we finish our pickups. Gus told him to bring Jesse along. Just so he could watch what he's doing for the day, probably. That's what I'm saying. Damn, he fucked my man Mike there up. <laughs> That's double the work you gotta do now. We got a lot to do today. We having second thoughts? Every hour of every day. But you, your expectations are realistic. You have a good, solid business plan. I'm feeling very confident. You have an excellent shot at making this work. Walt. Hmm. Are you good? Yeah. This shit better go south. Yo, no so bad, bro. Like. Ah, my congratulations to the both of you. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much, Alan. <laughs> it is my pleasure. What is he, a chick fil -A? Bring the car over first thing next week for a wash and wax. Oh, well, we'll be looking for you. I'll be there. <laughs> Thank you again. Wow. It's official. Well, how do you feel? Um, nervous, scared. This is a big step. Well, if we don't do this right, I be fine if we're gonna do this i mean we're really gonna do this then we have to promise each other no more secrets there can't be any mistakes like before there has to be complete honesty i'm all for that um how about a drink to celebrate we own a big ass car wash now yeah, we do i guess it merits a celebration nothing too expensive <laughs> the voice message I just wanted to say that I was thinking about you and, and the kids, and uh, I love you. <laughs> like, fuck out of here, bruh. How the twins to walk in? The boy ain't getting no butt since season one, though. Boy ripped his shirt. <sighs> well, Jean about to walk in. Yo, he forgot about the cook. Jesse ain't there. He uh, got all that stuff done already. Coming to my man Ted. We ain't seen that boy since he popped into the crib. Like, like. The sheets this smell different than I remember. Mm hmm. Okay. It's a Ted smell. It's a fabric softener. Mm. Yeah, I like it. Yo, what's up with these guys right like, now? Nah. Also got a new haircut. I knew something looked good. Yeah. Oh no, yes, I I was gonna say something. Were you? Really? Yeah. <laughs> so, um, dinner tomorrow night. I told Marie that we'd come over and eat with them. Think maybe you'll be free. Yeah, we can do that. That'll that'll be nice. We got a shorty back. Marie says it's about the only thing that'll get Hank out of his room. Mom. Oh. oh. Hey, mom. Dad. Hey, son. Where are you? Uh, we're we're back here. We'll be out in a minute. <laughs> you already know what's going on. I'm parked in the driveway. Oh, this is going to make for some very interesting dinner conversation. He is definitely going to ask about our living situation now. Why he say, I'm, uh, your mom's taking a nap, but I'm in the shower. Like, come on, bro. Maybe you should move back in. You know, just so it's uh, easier to explain to everyone. You think? No, I'm saying that my crib. Not so much. Like, it does make sense, but then again, well, like, I don't know, man. Like, you still did what you did. 
If he move back in, then Flynn's gonna be asking more questions. I have to get back to work. Schedule. Be so awkward, nigga. The fuck, kiss, man. That's his wife, but is it his wife? Complicated situation right there. He don't really know her situation. If she's still doing, if she's still with Ted or not. Nobody got the forklift. What? You better not damage nothing. Boy, you playing with fire, boy? Slow down, eh? This is a two-man job. I can't do it alone. I'm done. That's it. Finished. Nothing else happens until I get my partner back. He told that boy, you ain't gonna never see Gus again. Crazy if that's just Jesse. He about to help him. Two man job. You people have me down here trying to complete a two man operation by myself. Jesse operates the forklift, not me. That's just one of the many, many things he does around the lab that keeps us on schedule. So I suggest that you get him back down here soon. He's the bubble got the high. forklift yeah. credentials. Oh, nah, he efficient with the four. Where do you want it? Hey, <laughs> you don't run shit. You do not have the pool to be calling shots, my boy. This is it, right? Last stop. Last stop. Hey, I've been counting, yo. No more pickups after. You about to be the last pickup, boy. You about to pick you up right off the ground. Gun or something's gonna fall out. He not on his peas, bro. He not on his peas right now. That's what I'm saying. He not on his peas. Paralysis. Oof. I'm about to run down on this man. Oh nah, we're walking up quick as shit. Oh sh He got a shotgun for him. That's why he was saying, Mike, I need a gun. Fuck that is. He's hurt. Man, this motherfucking guy, my nigga Mike. Oh my, Mike is too old. I would have spun back. Pick yeah. my man Mike up. He's my nigga Mike in the middle of nowhere. Garcia's on Central. Honk once, I'll meet you in the parking lot. No, who that? Oh, the boy Jesse came to pick him up. Where that boy find him like that? This dude was coming right at me with a, with a shotgun. All right, they like blocked the alley and they're gonna rip us off, man. Mike I had is hurting or something. I had to put it in reverse, slam into the guy's car. I saw. I don't know. You smoking in my damn world? What I told you about that? Go ahead, kid. Smoke up. Them boys making amends. Came back for me. You can smoke one. You can smoke just that one because you came back for me. Don't get too, you know what I'm saying? Don't expect too much, though, on your ass. Boy came out with no socks on. Yeah, he bumpy. Hmm. We got some cheeks now, he giggity. Fuck is he quagmire? Morning. Hey, morning, son. We stay tonight? Uh, pour you some juice? Uh, I'll take a coffee. I also started tying my own shoelaces, too. I'm by myself. Yeah. Oh boy, Flynn, happy. I, I just wanted to say, it, it's really cool to have you here. It's cool to be back home. Mom said you're moving back in, um, this Tuesday. Right, I didn't say that. She said that? Yeah. Tuesday, is it? How about that? Bro, you gotta stop doing that shit, bro. No, he got- Oh, you. she got a binicky mug! Yeah. 
Nah, I'm not coming back. I told you, like, she... I'm not coming back. She thinks she can just erase all that shit that she did. I'm not coming back. You got my son drinking a binicky... What the fuck? Come on, they're punching shit? That's Jesse. Jesse's weird ass. Jesse! Yo, what's up? Mike dropped me off. What happened yesterday? Where were you? I was out with Mike helping make pickups. Picking up what? Cash that drops. Mike made the pickups and I guarded him. What is this, some kind of a joke? And you know what? Two dudes try to rob us and I saved the stash. I took care of business, just like I'm taking care of business right now. Get in gear, yo, if you want to do this, because I'm meeting up with Mike this afternoon. What, again? Why? Guess I have two jobs now. That boy don't that boy like that. Ring. No, can I make it feel like he more important? That's probably what Gus wanted to happen anyway, because yeah. it's going to break their... That would naturally, because Walt's ego, break their relationship. Bro. Any injuries? Twisted ankle. Nothing too bad. It all went like you thought it would, more or less. I will, of course, reimburse you for the damage to your vehicles. Your yeah, vehicles. Questions? Uh, more than a few, yeah. But I know better than to ask. He got trust in what that boy be doing. It's like he wanted. My kid's a hero. Did he plan for that to happen? I think he was doing that to make, I don't know. To make Jesse feel like he's more important than Walt Loki. But he said vehicles to so the other car was his. his. Beautiful little girl, I think it's you. Yep. So it's coming you. into a business like yeah. this, that's Holly don't even know that uh, Marie was stealing for her before she was born. You gonna put the kid to work? I've got school. Yeah. I'm, not I'm, talking about you. I'm talking about your baby sister. I wouldn't let you near my car. <laughs> uh. You should put Holly on the sign. No. Like a mascot? Like the Gerber baby. I would get my car washed there every day if I saw her face out front. That is true, though. Bring customers in, not scare them away. <laughs> <laughs> that boy, hey. That boy starting to make jokes. Should have gave you back? <laughs> Maybe we could roll Uncle Hank through the car wash. He could be the first customer. <laughs> the wipe down crew will clean you up good. You can't take her to work with You're to do something stupid. Good boy, drunk. Good boy drinking that drink. Came together on this. I'm really happy that's it's working out for me. I feel like he about to do something stupid. See on his face. Hey, uh, Nick the Greek. You gonna share that bottle or what? Uh, yeah, sorry. I don't see how that's bad. Dad's raking in the buku bucks. I knew it. You know, I just don't uh, think maybe we could change the subject. Hey, Uncle Hank, what about that case you were looking at? With that crazy singing guy? I'm off that. I, I gave my assessment to APD and I'm done. The case of the crazy singing guy. I don't think she knows that he died. This guy, Gail Bedecker, he was, uh, he was eccentric. He was a meth cook. Uh, he was a meth chef. <laughs> I mean, we're talking. He gonna he, say he's gonna be like... mad because they're giving him the credit for what he's doing. Mm -hmm. And that's irritating though. He was a genius, plain and simple. I mean, how many actual geniuses are there in the world, right? There we go again. Just the same thing as last time when it was at the pool. Not to tell you your business, but I'm not sure I agree. I mean, you showed me that notebook, and from what I saw, and, and this is just my humble opinion, from Skyler, what I saw no. on those papers. So to my eye, all this brilliance looks like nothing more than just simple rote copying, probably of someone else's work. Believe me, I have been around enough students to know. He's a fucking idiot. Right. Maybe he's still out there. Like, why the fuck would you say that? He's like, damn, so like now nah, I can go nah, back he's to back work. on the case. So like Bro's ego is just harder. He he brought over some file boxes on that case. Thought I'd take another peek. That's great. You want me to make some coffee? Yeah. Yeah, that'd be good. Your boy Hank back. Marie is very well at reading the signs and shit. Like, <laughs> see that boy working? Like, you want some coffee? Yeah, I know you want that coffee. Nah, he's locked back in. It's over. Why would he say that? 
Ball is losing. He gonna see the shell casing. Hmm. He find something. You know, everything he 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 buys and eats is uh, organic, fair trade, vegan. Since when do vegans eat fried chicken? Cook. That boy Hank too smart. Too smart. Talk about that chicken. You want some chicken? I got nah, some. but like, that's really like, bro, you really gotta be locked in, paying attention, detective type work. A person that's just looking at it from the outside in, that's not locked in like Hank is, they see that and it's like, oh, he probably just ordered some catering for something or he ordered some food. But the boy is vegan though. When do they eat fried chicken? That was the end of episode five, man. I can't wait to see what the next episode has. That boy Hank back on the case. Walt, Walt having those ego trips. Like, if you want to be credited for your work so bad, just come out and say, you him. Creep bull. But Hank being back on the case, he's definitely going to find a lot more stuff out. This isn't my guy, Heisenberg. I can go back to work until I catch this man. And then I can be, I can be done with my police work after that. Because then... You know, Heisenberg is written off and that's all I needed to, you know, stop working as a policeman or a, D or a DEA agent. Our guy Walt is back in the house. According to Skylar's words, he's moving back in on Tuesday. I obviously can see that he doesn't know how he feels about that yet. When she asked him the first time, he didn't answer. And like I was saying during the reaction, that one little situation happened with her and Walt and now she's thinking that she can erase everything that happened before you did that to walk hurt his feelings or whatever it's not gonna be that quick to repair the relationship and i'm not saying that i don't want them together because yes yeah, you can see me was smiling and shit because <laughs> they did whatever they did because they were a good couple at the start but then like through all this shit it it just brought out the bad in, re in the relationship and just because they had this one good moment doesn't mean that sometime down the road whenever she mad at Walt again is she just gonna step out again and that's what we really well that's what Walt has to think about so um I think it's gonna cause some ruckus I don't think he's gonna move in and that's gonna you know cause some problems with uh Flynn and have him start asking some questions on what happened and i think the affair is gonna come out and people are gonna have some you know some questions for skylar can't wait to see what episode six is gonna show us and what problems come with hank finding out that uh los pollos hermanos was linked to gail well lose me man i don't understand how he can't suppress his ego at this point like by him saying that to hank that just gives him more motivation to go out there and like hank said i believe it was last episode or episode before he wanted to be the person to take down heisenberg and it didn't feel right that he found Heisenberg or gail in the fashion that they did so he just put somebody back on the case that is one hank is close to him so after a while he's gonna start to piece things together if anything leads to walt the whole situation like even skylar she started you could tell she was uneasy and didn't like that Walt did what he did. And I feel like next episode, they're gonna have a conversation about that because she said no more mistakes and no more secrets. And that was a mistake for him oh, to do yeah. that. You know what I'm saying? Like Hank is way too smart for him to be playing these games of ego trips. You know what I mean? Cause okay, at the end of the day, it's just gonna hurt him in the end. It's either gonna, he's gonna put Hank in a bad situation or he's gonna put himself and Jesse and Gus in a bad situation, which is, what it's looking like from how they ended the episode off but oh boy jesse i don't really know the goal of what gus is trying to do right now we kind of took a like a guess or a hint or just do something out there that it's going to be something to where it's going to make walt angry or hit his ego that gus is using jesse more than just a cook in that mm -hmm. situation after a while he's going to be the one to be like yo why is he having jesse go out and do more things it's just being a cook like i'm more valuable than jesse mm -hmm. this and that so that's the conversation or the thought process that's gonna happen after a while but if you enjoyed that reaction man make sure to like the video comment down below let us know your thoughts on the subscribe button the bell kind of notify you these videos thank y'all we appreciate y'all um y'all been turning us up on our page since you know what i mean we've started this with just anime Episode. so uh, happy to be bringing y'all a lot of more content until the next video the kids reacting